Yes, all right. I'm starting the timer. And here is the question. Right, so if you have read and understood, kindly tell me what is your provisional diagnosis? What do you think patient is suffering from? Uh, this is most likely due to have parotid neoblast and tumor. Okay, can you uh, please classify parotid tumors? Can be benign or malignant. Yes. Adenoma yes. or lasting tumor. Can be malignant for the Okay. Uh, how, uh, which tumor is most common? Remorphic adenoma. Yes. All right. What is another name of uh, Warthin's tumor? Adenolymphoma. It's fifteen percent. Of neoplasm. Okay, can you tell me uh, what are the what what are the images uh, or image that can be taken to uh, confirm your diagnosis? Okay, can you tell me uh, in which salivary duct contrast is administered? Administered. What do you see? Is he there or disconnect? Oh God, he got disconnected. Yes, can you tell me what you see? Can't you hear? Yes, I can hear you. Can you please tell me what do you see? What kind of image is this? This is Baroti Diagram. Yes, very good. And what are you seeing? What what do you see? What's happening? Contrast is injected in which duct? What is the name of the slivery duct? Where is the opening of this duct within the oral cavity? Can you please tell? Can you please describe the surface marking of this duct? Three questions. Should be three different answers. Can you please tell the surface marking of the gland to which this duct belongs? Is he here or he got disconnected? Yes, Dr. Mohammed, please. Can you name the structures which open in this gland? Can you describe the superficial and deep lobes of this gland? No question, no answer I'm getting. He got disconnected. Okay, Dr. The Vishen. network may be ma'am. Yes, yeah. please continue. Which question first ma'am? Yes, uh, in which duct this uh, in, uh, dye is injected please? Um, it's actually the extension duct that is yes. uh, opening in the opposite the upper second molar tooth, ma'am. Good. Can you please describe the surface marking of the duct? Yes, ma'am. Actually, it's uh, <clears throat> the middle one third of the line joining the tragus of the ear towards the philtrum. Philtrum means uh, 
the middle point okay. of the uh, uh, angle ella of the nose and the angle of the mouth the middle point of that ma'am that is called can you please also tell me the surface marking of the gland to which this duct yes, belongs yes uh, the uh, <coughs> actually it is the parotid gland and yes. the surface marking is at first ma'am uh, <coughs> it's uh, as a, like uh, the anterior border is from the head of the mandible uh, towards uh, the midpoint behind the uh, midpoint of the posterior border of the masseter muscle and a curved line down towards the uh, <clears throat> towards the uh, angle of the angle of the mandible and the posterior border actually from the head of the mandible towards the tragus of the ear and from the tragus of the ear towards the angle of the mandible please take the surface mark compared okay to good uh, i think dr mohammed is back please tell the superficial and deep lobes of the gland he got disconnected again Yes, doctor. So the inferior border was two yes. centimeter, I think, beneath the angle of the mandible. If yes. uh, I don't know, two centimeter. I think. I, I, yes. Okay. Can correct? you name all the structures which pass through uh, the gland? The first nerve. Yes. And there is the mandibular vein. Yes. And then a carotid artery and the deep parotid nerve. Good. Can you name? Uh, okay. Can you tell me what is the phrase syndrome? This is occur uh, during after failure or due to trauma, it's due to loss of parasympathetic nerves, which carry on on the auricular membrane nerves, which lead to respiratory stimulation due to parotid salivary stimulus. Okay. Good. Can you uh, please uh, describe the landmarks of uh, parotid gland, like anteriorly? Posteriorly, okay. superiorly, and oh, inferiorly. There is upper border. Yes. From the tip of the ear. Yes. Uh, the center of the mastoid process. Anterior border from the tragus of the ear. The anterior border of the masseter muscle. Masseter muscle, yes. Posterior, uh, then past, uh, behind and below the angle of the mandible. Then the yes. posterior border is from the center of the mastoid process. And this above, uh, below and behind the angle of the Yes. Can you please tell me? Uh, can you tr it, this duct drains? Uh, duct of the gland drains where? Uh, the, uh, the upper second molar. Okay, and uh, it, this uh, parotid gland is supplied by which nerve? Uh, the supplied by the percutumbrian nerve from the otic ganglion. Can you name a few benign and malignant causes of parotid uh, swelling? No tumor, the swelling. Benign can be due to infection such as parotitis or mum. Yes. And uh, as can be due to the calculus. Yes. yes. Due to destruction of the parotid duct. How common is that? The benign. Yes. Uh, and uh, and uh, the malignant also, please quickly. Malignant uh, for the malignant I don't know it's more than eighty percent. It's the most common one. Okay, cranial nerve carrying parasympathetic fiber. So that, that's okay. Secondly, can you tell me what is gestatory sweating? Sorry. Gest gestatory sweating. What do you mean by that term? Especially due to the over stimulation of the sympathetic fibers, which is to be tennis sweating. Yes. Uh, okay, due to when them is stress syndrome. Okay. Can you name the branches of uh, facial nerve after it leaves parotid gland? Divided into the tumor nerve. And yes. the buccal nerve, and the margin of the mandibular, and the cervical, and the ligomatic branch. Okay. Good. Bell went. I didn't enjoy. I okay. Yeah, that's why network. Okay. Uh, you mentioned there are infective. Uh, infective causes of parotid swelling. 
can you explain few uh, or can you name few? How would you differentiate between Sjogren syndrome and uh, sarcoidosis, which involves parotid gland? I think Sjogren is their bilaterally. Sjogren doesn't occur bilaterally. It's sarcoidosis which occurs bilaterally. But there'll, there'll be grittiness okay. in eyes in case of Sjogren. Uh, okay. Which one involves facial nerve more frequently? Sarcoidosis. Mm. Yeah, I think sarcoidosis as well. What should be the treatment? Steroids. For Sjogren? Yeah, or uh, even sarcoidosis. I don't know. Steroids. They give steroids. Steroids? Yes. Okay. What about if a child presents with um, mumps? There, there is parotid gland swelling, but how would you manage that? Even viral. Yes. Isn't mumps viral? Mumps uh, can be viral. Yeah. So, do you give antibiotics for viral? No. No. Conservatively, you can manage like. The result is yeah. spontaneous. Yeah. yeah. Good. How frequently do you see stone impaction in parotid gland duct? Is it common? I think it is rare. It is rare. Yeah, it's not common. Thank you. Thank you.